Good morning. It is Saturday, and today we are doing something a little different. So this week, I didn't really have much content to film. We were doing a lot of maintenance on our main accounts where we go around and we de-weed everything. We torch the weeds, or we just do a little bit of repair work. So there wasn't much to film this week. But behind me, as you can see, I have this massive pile of dirt. I calculated it out it's around 16 yards 17 yards of dirt that I am going to sift down today this is my homemade DIY dirt sifter I got a little vibrator shaker on the back of it here so I built this a while ago and uh, haven't used it in a little bit I'm getting some weeds growing on the front of it so the first thing I got to do is pull the skid steer out here and uh, get out all these weeds because this you put the dirt on the top here and it falls down and goes into this area and this is your nice clean dirt so I got to go ahead and scrape all that out of there first so I just have a nice dirt base there and then this is my uh, sifted dirt pile so I'm gonna go ahead and uncover that and then sift that through here put the sifted dirt in there and take the bad stuff that we don't want and put it in a pile that I got going over there behind this berm. So that is what we're going to do today. I have some concrete chunks on this side, so I'll have to take those out. But a lot of this stuff, it's got some old sod in it. I actually went and tore out this guy's yard. He was just going to re-level his entire yard and ended up taking about... 13 yards of dirt out of his yard because the companies before would just sod 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 and would never um, Scalp out the old stuff that was there. So it just got really high and moundy So I had to go ahead and take out a whole lot of dirt there You got another little dump pile right here of that same dirt So that one there should be some sod coming out of it the other stuff we might get some roots coming out of it like that stuff but we got plenty to sift. I don't know if I'm going to go ahead and get through this whole pile today, but I at least want to make a dent in it. So I'm going to go ahead and get the extension cord out of the truck and run the extension cord from the shop over to this extension cord so that I can get that shaker working. And uh, I've actually been delaying doing this for a little bit because it's been so dusty. I mean, it hasn't rained in a month until last night. We got just a tiny bit of rain, not enough to, you know, clump anything up. All this is still, you can see, it's still dusty, but it should be a little bit better. So, we're going to go ahead and get to it. I'm going to set up the time lapse, and I'm also going to wear the GoPro while I'm doing the whole thing. Alright, definitely going to have to blow the air filter out of this thing when I'm done. It's still dusty. Even turning out of the shop, kicking up a bunch of dust. I'm not sure how much that rain is really gonna help. But, still gonna have some fun. And eventually, here soon, I'm gonna go ahead and take all these berms and jumps down. I'm getting too old to be riding my dirt bike around and possibly getting hurt so I'm gonna sell the dirt bike and uh, sell all this dirt so again first thing I'm gonna do is just get all of this crap out of here so I got a nice playing surface to use
in the front too. So I can get dirt to fall easier. Can't even tell where the front of this thing is anymore. Found it. go get my rake Ooh, I'm gonna try to get these weeds out of here first so the dirt can fall down easier these weeds are just gonna clog up the bottom but I normally have to use my rake after a couple scoops of dirt if it gets too piled up on here I mean if I went really slow with it and just barely put any dirt at a time it would go and I wouldn't have to use the rake but that would just take absolutely forever so I always use the rake with it I'll go see if it's in the shop it might be up by the porch area I know Ethan was using it last all right got my rake and so let me talk about this sifter for a second I built this uh, in about three hours with a couple buddies, maybe less. But I have this mesh here, two sheets of this bigger stuff on the bottom, kind of laid over each other. And then I started using that and it wasn't really good enough. It was letting rocks through and stuff. So I went and I bought this chicken wire and then put that over top. And I mean, for what it is, it works great. I could have put the angle a little bit better um, but I had no idea what I was doing I was just sending it and I was like ah this angle should be good enough I have no idea what angle it really is or anything like that I didn't go I didn't you know do any math on it but for what it is it works pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a time lapse plug this bad boy in and uh, get to work. So this is my good pile of already sifted dirt and I keep it covered because I don't want a bunch of leaves and stuff falling in it. But I mean even being covered that stuff is growing weeds in it. It's pretty wild. Go ahead and plug this bad boy in. It shakes. It could shake but better if I put two of them on there. It would work better if I mounted one like in the middle and then one on the top where it's at right now. I think it would work pretty good. But for just one, I mean, it does the job.
working good right now because everything's so dry. Might not have to use the rake that much.
Lord. Look at that. That's the difference that I was talking about there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rake absolute dust storm look at all the rocks we got out of there so far it's pretty good so sometimes you just got to come and break off this bottom when it gets too built up So that stuff can fall easier. That shaker doesn't sound too hot. I ain't gonna lie. I got it off of Amazon, so I don't expect it to be the best. This is all that sod out of that dust <clears throat> pile that I just put in. dusty i mean my lord look at the skid steer you can see the skid steer tracks through the dust i think i'm gonna wait to do that dusty stuff for another time i think it needs to get rained on and that's just too much it's not the best dirt either it's very sandy
trying to just trying to get this a little bit more wet nicer dirt and leave all that sandy stuff for another day that stuff is just too much I'm gonna have to blow the air filter out in this thing right when I'm done and if I tried to sift that stuff boy would she be caked up Yep, so this is the outer part of the air filter. It ain't too bad, but we're gonna blow it off anyway. That's the inside. You can pull that off too. Alrighty. This uh this stuff is just too much right now to deal with. It's some real sandy stuff too. I don't know if I really even want to put that in my sifted pile because this dirt i mean it's it's i guess it's good soil because it did come out of a yard and there was grass growing on it perfectly fine but it does not look like this stuff i mean this is really good dirt it's a lot darker it's not dusty like that other stuff like this is really nice dirt and so the reason why i do this is there will be times on jobs where you're doing a walkway or something and you got to cut out the sod around it and sometimes there'll be some gaps whether it's six inches or one foot on the side of the grass that you excavated and then you just come back with your topsoil and throw it in there and then grass will grow right up along the pavers um, it's something that leaves a good impression with the customers you know if there's any low spots in the yard you can also take care of that it's good to have good dirt laying around. I mean, I even sell dirt. I've had customers who wanted um, a couple yards of dirt to put in their backyard because they're gonna start doing landscaping, this and that, and they didn't know it, but the paver guy has a whole bunch of nice dirt that I can bring in and spread out for them. So it works out. I like sifting dirt. I like working with dirt, um, so. 
this is why I started the whole thing. And as you can see, with all these rocks, roots, and other stuff, the DIY homemade sifter does its job. I mean, I probably these are all old form boards that I use for pouring concrete. Um, this sifter probably caught the most expensive thing was the roll of chicken wire, which was like 160 bucks. But other than that, every all the wood and stuff was used from past jobs, old wood. I probably spent a total of $200 building this. And oh no, my shaker! Ooh, that thing's hot. My shaker came undone up here. So, I wonder why. This is what I was using. <laughs> need some bigger screws to go through there. Really, I need some bigger washers. And that thing is hot, boy. So, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And hit that subscribe button for more upcoming content. This week, we're going to have a busier week, so there will be more videos going this week. And I'm going to try and upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That's my new schedule. I was doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'd rather put out a video on Sunday. Um, Sunday just... That's the day that I'm always chilling, watching YouTube videos, so I feel like a lot of other people are doing the same and would like a video on Sunday. And uh, I think I'm going to start posting them in the morning instead of in the afternoon on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I'll post them maybe at like 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think if I should start posting it in the morning or keep doing the afternoon. I normally post at 2.30 in the afternoon. So, yeah. Got that little dirt pile going. I mean, that's probably eight yards right there. And we have probably 13 to go. But that's for another time. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.